Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I am uh, doing a recording on the roads that uh, El Presidente Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador has been inaugurating today. He uh, has made had them make 26 out of 100 roads are done, so today he's inaugurating the first road. And I want you guys to see how well the people receive him, how well he gets along, um, and just how happy he is to be in among the people. And as you can see, he's there without bodyguards, and the people just um, take care of him, as he always says. So he's um, doing really well, and uh, we want to go ahead and get started, okay? He says, we are walking, inaugurating this road of concrete. The people made it. All we did was help them by sending the budget. And they managed the money with honesty. We gave work to the people. Se la de aquí. We reactivated Porque this community hubo because there were jobs. Y además, and besides that, se hizo el they made the road. Ocho Eight Ocho kilometers of it. Sí, pero como yo voy caminando, but like I'm walking, el que va a ahora, the one who's going to explain is the municipal president. Efectivamente, así fue, señor presidente. Yes, Muchas Mr. Gracias president, it was like that. Thank you for your pues support. Nos dejó aquí. Está en su humilde pueblo. Because you're here Gracias, in your humble verdad. town. Toda la gente que estuvieron trabajando, and all the pues people so who were working benefited. Este, pues estamos muy orgullosos. And we are very proud. San Antonio, San Antonio, and he said, what is the name? It's Chini, San, San Antonio Chinicawa. He says, I was here 10 vino, years ago. Campaña, señor yes, presidente. when you came during your Ahora, campaign, Mr. President. president. Thank you very much that you look towards us and this humble little town, San Antonio Chinicawa. And this is the engineer, uh, Jimenez Espriu. He's the Secretary of Communications. And this is the Governor of Oaxaca. Alejandro Murat. And he's Alejandro Murat. This is the first road we inaugurated. En este fin de semana, van a ser cinco. And this weekend, there's going to be five. Y hay and there's a hundred fronts open. Así como se este Just like this one was done. Con la gente, con la gente. Esto es Where the people are working, working with the people. La democracia, el gobierno del pueblo. This is what democracy is, a government of the people, Para el pueblo y con el pueblo. for the people and with the people. Ellos me están a parar el toro, el toro viejo. And they are helping me to stand that old bull up on its feet. Echado. That one that was laying down. Reumatico with rheumatoid arthritis <laughs> and with very bad habits, too. Now the people are governing in Mexico. And I am very happy. I am very happy to be here in La Mixteca. And then he said, La Mixteca? Of the General Lázaro Cárdenas. He's that great president, president, the best president. 
del siglo XX. Of the 20th century. Y estamos en el estado del mejor presidente. And we are in the state of the best president. En toda la historia de México. In all the history of Mexico. Benito Juárez García. Benito Juárez García. Y estamos enteros, eh, porque estamos caminando esta subida. Este, de cuelga. And he says, and we're still well put together because this is a walk that would put anybody on their knees. Pero, eh, bien. But we came out well. Muy bien. Y de We're doing very well and in a good way. Wow. Este so that was very nice. Um, I really enjoyed that. I like his little... Um, Oh, I don't know. I would say his little trips he makes around the country with uh, with the different uh, peoples because there's so many, uh, I believe there's 2,500 municipalities. Many of them have indigenous people that speak other dialects. And I believe that most of them speak some Spanish, but some don't. Believe it or not, there's still some indigenous people in Mexico that do not even speak Spanish. So there's um, a, a big push to train the indigenous people, uh, their youth, to be doctors and nurses and other um, uh, things that might be, uh, not things, but jobs uh, that that may be needed in their communities now that they're opening up the roads and they're going to be uh, stimulating the economy. So they're going to be needing, uh, they're going to be opening schools, hospitals, uh, and they're going to need more people that, that are bilingual in each of those different dialects. So this is just an example of uh, one of the roads that they made. Now, I don't know if you got a chance to see but the roads are actually very beautiful. Um, oh, let me see if I could find you a road. They're just wonderful. Um, let's see. Caminos de Oaxaca. Okay, look. Pavimentados. The sound. But you can see how beautiful the uh, roads are. And just so you know, this is from a groom, uh, a video called Mexico. Mexico, look at Mexico, Mexico, in case you want to look it up. And this is the rural roads, conservation of the construction of the rural roads. And you can see how, just how beautiful. Uh, the president does have a video on his channel. Um, this might be from it. But um, I didn't want to take a risk that they would get upset that I was using it because it has their music and all that. But I just wanted you to see how beautiful the work that they do. You can see they put little rocks in the middle and then they, the women do the, the carrying of the rocks and they get mixers because the president said, yes, we could get a big old truckload of cement and dump it down, but he wanted to give them all jobs. And so the women help by picking out the the best. So the president says women are more delicate and and they have this taste for for picking the best rocks and so he, the women go around picking the rocks, um, and the men, believe it or not, so you would think it's a you know might be a heavy job, but for some reason they just do a very good job, and so the um, the men you know do the uh, some of the other work, and I suppose some of the other men could do it, and the women could do their jobs too, but they just you know try to uh, dis you know uh, disperse the jobs. Um, as you can see, see those are the ro uh, rocks that the women picked up, and so they're going to put them in, and then they mix the cement with a mixer, and they open up the each of the bags. So the president sent the bags, the mixers, the shovels, the wood, um, all the things that they would need to be able to make the roads, and they're made quite thick, so they can really withstand the storms. And as you can see, when they put these rocks in the middle, what it does is it serves, it serves to, to be kind of like a, uh, uh, to protect the roads from cracking so much, 
because there's something it'll give way it's not such a big piece and and the rocks kind of can absorb some of the impact and give way a little bit without destroying the road itself so they've done an excellent job and I just thought you would like to see it I hope you enjoyed this and please stay tuned uh, why don't you uh, sign in to my channel um, I have a channel called um, AMLO Vision and I talk about everything AMLO and I translate it to English because AMLO is showing the world that it is possible to give your people everything that they need and that it's not all about the money you know it's it's also about giving people an opportunity you can see these people are working hard it's not a handout they're working hard for the money and they're building their own roads and you know uh, getting educations free education and um, uh, retirement for the elderly there's uh, what else Oh, free health care and medications and he's showing them it can be done if you take care of the money and and spread the money that uh, is budgeted for the people if you don't keep buying luxury items for yourself you can make the money go far so that's what he talks about in his uh, videos where he's talking about austerity austerity I think there was two days ago or yesterday we talked about austerity and uh, that is where you uh, um, put um, uh, money uh, you know you don't spend the money uh, that doesn't belong to you you and you don't buy yourself all these luxuries just because you're in government because you're actually there to uh, administer the people's money you're not there to buy things for yourself and so that's what he's been trying to show them and uh, he he by the way you know in Mexico they have this huge palace and it's called Los Pinos and if you're ever in Mexico, uh, the city of Mexico, uh, he has converted the Mexican uh, president's palace uh, at Los Pinos into a uh, tourist attraction. Uh, anyone can go in. It's free for public to go in and see uh, the location. Just walk through where the presidents used to live and, and see the lap of luxury. You would be astounded. It is, uh, it's almost embarrassing how how uh, well they were living on the people's money. So anyway, you you might you might be interested in going to Mexico to see some of the beautiful things. Plus, one more thing is that these roads are being built. They plan on making three hundred roads in six years, but um, these roads are built in areas where people used to have to take burrows to go up to their um, uh, these different locations and there's a lot of places uh, around the um, around Mexico where you could uh, uh, see um, like things like pyramids and beautiful uh, waterfalls and things that are natural that still have not been damaged by man because now the roads are going to be there and you'll be able to see different parts of Mexico and it's so close. You might even be able to drive around there. Uh, lots of things are changing in Mexico. I hope you get a chance to go check it out. Um, let me see. Let me end this somewhere else. And we don't want to end it on that. Let's see. What would be a good place to end this with a nice picture? Of the, of the roads. There were some nice pictures in the beginning. Yeah, like this one. This is a nice one. So you could see how the roads are made. And this also is part of the ceremony of the inauguration. And I want you to see this. I'm going to add it to the other video. Municipales, sociedad civil, comunidades indígenas, población de San Antonio Chilicahua. Representantes de los medios de comunicación y público en general que nos siguen a través de las redes sociales y por internet en todo el mundo entero. Todos y todas sean bienvenidos.
So this is the inauguration and they're talking in the uh, en este momento language. se lleva a cabo la ceremonia tradicional mixteca a cargo de médicos tradicionales de la comunidad de Chalcatón. So this is they're going to be doing their uh, natural uh, national ceremony by done by their medicine doctors. Tongo de Hidalgo Tlaxiaco. So just in case you uh, don't understand Spanish and don't know it, she is not speaking Spanish. She is speaking one of the dialects of the uh, uh, people in this particular part of Mexico. It is in Oaxaca, and it's a place called San Antonio Sinicagua. Buenas tardes, licenciado Andrés Manuel López Obrador, presidente constitucional de los Estados Unidos de Me Mexicanos. So now she's speaking Spanish and she's saying good afternoon, Mr. President of the Mexican uh, United States. Es hoy día 17 para todos los pueblos indígenas. Nos sentimos orgullosos de que esté usted visitando and she says it's the 17th a day for the indigenous people, and we are very proud that you are visiting us. La población de San Antonio, Chinicagua, es un pueblo que ha estado olvidado durante mucho tiempo. Our place where we live, San Antonio, Chinicagua, is a place that's been abandoned and forgotten for a very long time. Y como tradición de nuestros ancestros, Le ofrecemos con mucho respeto. And like as in uh, the traditions of our ancestors, we are offering you these. Esta ceremonia que ha venido de generación en generación. This ceremony which has been brought from generation to generation. En donde nosotros cuando llega un guerrero, cuando llega un tlatuani. When a... Uh, war hero comes, or a Tlatuani, Un presidente que ve, a president, ve por los pueblos originarios, a president that is taking care of the original or native people, se le ofrenda y festejamos con una celebración, and we make offerings and we celebrate with a festival, desde la cosmovisión hacia nuestra madre Tonansi, que es nuestra madrecita tierra. And so here, up until we go to where our land is, where our mother land is. Bienvenido a San Antonio, Chinicagua, y permítanos usted, como pueblos indígenas y como pueblo de San Antonio, Chinicagua, hacerle una purificación como... And she's asking him to please let them, as the people in their tradition, to do a purification for him. Acostumbramos nosotros los pueblos originarios. This is one of the customs we have in one of the original peoples of Mexico. Y también reciba de, de todos los pueblos vecinos porque aquí en la Mixteca Alta. And she says, and you can also feel like you're receiving it from all the neighboring uh, peoples in this uh, place because in here, in the Mixteca. Siempre acostumbramos el tequio. Y we always uh, have a custom to use tequio. Now, tequio is a um, community type, uh, not religion, but it's community living, where everybody uh, lives in an honest way, and they live in a community where they help each other out. Cuando hay Un evento que llega, un guerrero que llega. And in our culture, when uh, there is an event or a warrior comes, or a tlatlauni, which is what you are, Mr. Uh, President, Manuel, Andres Manuel, que de esta 
We have to make a festival this way and celebrate it this way. Conviviendo como vecinos, como and we need to live together as neighbors. Hermanos, todos los pueblos sin distinción. And all the neighboring uh, uh, townships in this area. Para recibirlo a, in order to receive you. A usted y a todos los que lo acompañan. And all of those that accompany you. Bienvenido, el gobernador. Uh, you're welcome here, and so is the governor. Nuestro representante de pueblos indígenas. And our representative of the indigenous people. Licenciado Adelfo Regino Montes. The, the uh, licenciado Adelfo Regino Montes. Y nuestro ingeniero. And our engineer. Javier Jiménez Espriu. Javier Jame Jiménez Espriu. Pues, qué bueno que han venido a la Mixteca para que vean cómo vivimos. And it is very good that you came here to La Mixteca so you can see how we live. Aquí en este lugar. Here in this place. Que pues durante muchos años nunca un presidente. Because for many years not a single president. Había volteado a vernos y ahora que están. Had turned their eyes to see us. And now that you are. Están con ustedes. Bienvenidos. Este es. You are very welcome. Su casa. Feel like it is your home. Y vamos a continuar con la ceremonia. And now we will continue with the ceremony. And you can see how beautiful it is, how they uh, adorn him with their uh, different uh, so she says, you, sir, today on the 17th, this is going to be engraved in the history of the Mexican people here in San Antonio, Chinicagua. Significa cabeza, cagua, monte, luz, cabeza. So she says this means head, mountains. Encima del monte. And that the head is on top of the mountain. Hoy, nuestro presidente, lo purificamos para que usted. Today, Mr. President, we purify you. Siga viniendo y lo esperamos en todas las comunidades so that you could continue coming and we wait for you in all the communities. All these communities that are part of the Mixteca. So that you will not forget us. And you know perfectly the necessities of our people. Para que usted nos siga acompañando. And we want to invite you so you can continue to be accompanying us. Hermano Andrés Manuel López Obrador. Our brother Andrés Manuel López Obrador. Y bienvenido a. And you are very welcome here. A este lugar de San Antonio Chinicagua. To this place, San Antonio Chinicagua. I just think this is so beautiful. This in itself could be a little video, so I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, I'm sure that at some point in this video there's going to be a lot more interesting stuff, but I just think that it was just such a beautiful ceremony of and how they respect and love the president and how they appreciate that he has taken the time to go and see all the people. And he's going to every um, one of the... Um, well, not every, probably, because there's 2,500. But he goes to as many as he can, and they gather around, and they visit him, and he gets to be with them, and he takes things from their hands, and he hugs them, and he tells them how much he cares, and he shows them how much he cares by making sure that their needs are met, and he pays attention when they say that things are bad, like they have no water or... or just horrible things that are happening in Mexico that they, that he's finding out as he goes there. 
Anyway, I just thought I would share this with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.